what's up? So I got to go to Northeastern University a couple of weeks ago to do something real cool with their action lab, where they're studying how the human body moves, how it exercises motor control and all that, specifically looking at how it handles non-rigid objects. Objects kind of like, you know, bull whips. So they brought me out, third whip cracker they've actually brought out. They brought out Adam Winterich a few years ago. They brought out April Jennifer Choi a few years ago. And this time they turned to me, asked me to do some experiments with them and let them see exactly what I do when I'm cracking a whip. In general, we are doing this, we've already covered it, we're doing this because we're interested in how humans yeah. are able to do it. Yeah. It's not just the whips, it's also everyday things, yeah. shoelaces, yeah. carrying groceries, making bed, yeah. like that. Very challenging for um, neuroscience, for robotics. When something breaks in humans, we don't know how to fix it, right? Yeah. So that's why we're doing this research, and we'd like to just get some data yeah. on you. Yeah. Placing reflective markers on your body, okay. and ask them to wear this yeah. uh, sort of uh, large uh, size uh, suit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, perform uh, aiming at the target, hitting the target with the whip. You got it? I have heard of people making whips out of duct tape, but I, I suspect this is not duct tape. The motion is a little different, but otherwise it's pretty much the same. Um, the, so I'm bringing it back and I expect it to be, you know, if there were a fall and, and, and cracker attached, I, ex I would expect it to be cracking here, but it's reaching the cracking motion down there. So I have to bring it further back than I'm used to. It's not something you can feel by your hands? It's not necessarily something I can feel. It's, I'm seeing where it's rolling out. Um, and, you know, I expect it to roll out up here and it's rolling out down there, which means I just have to bring it further back when I come back. That's interesting also. If I want to get it solidly, I'm aiming right here as opposed to right here. So you figure out and yield it to that. Why is that you need to create? Yeah, every whip has a little bit of a different feel to it. So like with those whips, I would, if I wanted to hit that, I'd be aiming right here because they'll curl in a little bit. Um, I think so. I think different whips are just, they just have minds of their own. Um, and they're, sometimes they just, they just do what they want to do. Hey, I'm back. Uh, just a quick little break from the video while I get dressed into a nice skin-tight black suit with electrodes all over it so they can track exactly how I move. But want to let you know we've got a brand new thing on offer this week. It's the Jaxi Whipper Plush! Check this thing out. So, we partnered with U2s for this. They approached me uh, earlier this year about setting up a Joxy Whipper plush. So what we did, sent them images of me, pictures of my costume, pictures of me suited up, pictures of my whips. And what they did is they made a design based around that. And this is what we came back with. They really captured the costume well. We've got the revolutionary cockade. We've got the special whips that I use. We've even got the bracers with the laces on the inside because that's how I do my bracers so that I don't get hit with my whips. Here's the thing though. These guys are only available for about five weeks. They launched today, Friday, October 6th. If you're watching this video, they are already available and then they'll stop being available in early November. So here's the thing, U2s, we're not sure exactly how much we're gonna sell. So U2s is going to take in all the orders for these. They're gonna see exactly how many orders we get. They'll make them, and then they'll start shipping them out in February or March. So if you wanna get your Jaxi Whipper plushie, don't wait on it, get the order in now. Link is in the description, link is in my bio, link is in the comments. It's all over the place. Get yours today. Feel free to take the wires, that's if you want. Yeah. Okay. So the is like that. Yeah. Go. 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 Go.
We'll be all right. I'm starting to sweat though. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You're just probably gonna have to wash this after I'm done with it. Yeah, I had a feeling. This one I can do for days. So you tell me when you're done. Uh, good. Yeah. Well, so in, in that one, you're letting a lot more of the whip do the work. So, you know, you do that flick forward and the, the motion of the whip, I'll just let the whip kind of carry itself, flick forward and the whip already brings itself right back into that same position where you're just primed to just, so all you're doing is just flick, 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 and the whip, the weight of the whip drags you there. Was it? It's, I think it's, it's muscle memory and there's also, there's kind of, for lack of a better term, there's an oh crap siren that'll go off in my brain. So like as I bring the whip up and then bring it forward, I can be like, oh, I just did something that's bad. Like, oh, I'm leaning forward with my shoulder and that's going to bring the whip further to the left. Um, yeah. Exactly. Do you always hold the whip in this orientation? Do you pay attention or is it just like... I oh, just yeah. It up? oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So depending on what, most of the time I'm holding it with the, the ball at the, at the bottom of it in the, in the palm of my hand right in the middle. And then I do, I wrap my fingers like that, thumb on the top or slightly to the side depending on what I'm doing. The only change is if I'm doing certain cracks, like if I want to do a, like a rollout crack, like with one of those longer whips. So normally the curve would be angled away from me. In that situation, I will turn my hand around so that the curve is toward me. And so like I would lay it straight back and I would go crack. And while it's in the air, I would kind of loosen the grip, let it come back around so I can go boom. So that would look like it at speed. Crack, crack, just like that. So there you have it, just a few of the highlights from my two and a half hours of filming with the Action Lab over at Northeastern University. When will they present the data from that? Well, they told me that they were just presenting the data they had gotten from Adam Winrich six years ago, so might take a little bit of time. But in the meantime, stay tuned. Don't forget, get yourself a Jackson Whipper plushie over at U2s.com. And thanks, guys. Cheers. Toss a coin to your whipper, or maybe a 20, or maybe